I took a two hour train for 36 euros, first class from Rome to Naples, Italy. Here's what it looks like to buy your ticket last minute at the train station. Pockets. In case of need, ask only Trenitalia staff for more information. The views were splendid, the space was very cozy, but I was required to wear a mask the entire ride. We arrived at the station of Naples, Italy. The station was honestly very developed. It had a whole fountain and it had shopping, it had pharmacies, it had the clothing store Mango even. And now we get a taxi to go to our hotel. I've heard some mixed reviews about Naples, Italy. Some people say that it's very dangerous, that you shouldn't even bother going at all. Some people say that it's really underrated. So we're gonna find out pretty soon. During the entire taxi ride, I was observing and I noticed that on my way to the hotel, there were definitely some areas that looked a lot more beat up, broken down, too old, nobody really bothered to fix it. I couldn't help but notice that there was a lot of trash, but there were also other areas that were beautiful, lots of ancient sites, and our hotel is in a very nice area, so I'm very excited. One of my closest friend's family comes from Naples, Italy, and they helped me identify the best location for tourists, and that's where I got my hotel. Made it to the hotel, I just dropped off my luggage, since it's like a 10 minute wait until my room is ready, which is fine because I'm like an hour early, but wow, this is gorgeous. Look at this view. That's incredible. Now I'm going to maybe get some food. Oh my god, all the buildings here are really powerful. This beautiful view. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, so what do I want to eat? Whoa. Okay, so these prices are not amazing, but yeah, like a pasta should be fine. Though I have no idea what this means. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get a pasta again. Not really feeling pizza right now. A mozzarella di fana and a white wine because you have to pay two euros for water anyways so might as well just get a glass of white wine for six euros i have to try the wine when i'm in italy right and yeah it's a beautiful day gorgeous view happy to be here Okay, so this is what I served. I thought it was a uh, pasta, but I guess I was wrong. Well, we just have a big block of mozzarella. I have some pasta too, please. The menu again. Pasta? Yes. <laughs> I thought it was pasta. No, it's <laughs> yeah. Um, which do you recommend? Anything? Do you want mozzarella or no mozzarella? Um, I don't really. No. <laughs> no. Okay. It's okay. Good. Sorry. Okay. Thank pasta. You. Oh, these are pastas. Allora, scarpariello, tomato, però, questo tomato. Nerano, typical restaurant, vegetables and the cheese. Uh, this one. Looks good. No, no. Uh, today only Nerano, scarpariello and vongole, spaghetti vongole with clams. Oh, you don't have this one today? Capaello tomato. Oh. Tomato, nerano, vegetables and cheese and a clams. Nerano? Nerano? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Grazie. 
Gypsies. Well, that was nice of him to take it back from me. I just saw that they, someone ordered like watermelon on the plate. It's pretty cool. It's good for this super hot weather. We need to get into my bikini and chill this up. And then the afternoon I'm gonna get some pizza. And maybe I'll have a cappuccino with this dish or maybe the next one. I don't know. It's kind of interesting how Italians or like, you know, in general drink so much wine and coffee, but they're both really dehydrating and it's like really hot here. So yeah, I guess that doesn't really add up. If you wanna, if that's your goal, then you will succeed really quickly in being dehydrated. While I was waiting, I was just looking at their dessert menu and they have the seasonal fruit, some sorbet, I don't know what scropino is. I just translated all of this with Google Translate with my phone, by the way. They have um, homemade desserts, homemade um, parfaits, and gluten-free desserts. So, yeah, and the homemade parfait has like pistachio flavor, and then the other one is like torrentino, which I don't know what that means. But I don't see cappuccino in here, so I might ask him. Well, if I'm feeling like it after my food, I'm going to use the restroom. I'm going to my hotel afterwards to change and jump in the water and then maybe get some ice cream or something. Let's see. Petite, bon appetit to me. I'm walking to my hotel now and this is too interesting to not record. Like there's like famous people, <laughs> photos of them. This is my room, 111. Made it inside, so this is my room. I have some slippers, towel from them. I guess this is toiletries, which is interestingly not in the restroom. Some big movie poster, which I don't know what it is. Um, looks pretty good. I mean, looks a lot newer like than the last one, though. This is my restroom. A little shower here. There's like drinks and of course um, costs money. But hey, at least I have a cup in the room. And another mirror here. I look kind of gross from traveling all day. I need to take a shower. And yay, I have a window. A little balcony, actually. Huh. And like tan there, I guess. It's interesting. I don't know if I will. But hey, at least I get some natural light. I wanted to update you guys also. I just finished my meal. They charged me for using the napkin, like the, like it looks like a reusable one that you just put on your lap usually. But they charged me 250 for it. So my entire meal came out to 2450. I've never been charged for a napkin like that ever. Maybe it's normal here, I don't know. If any of you guys have had this experience before, please let me know. I don't know why I'm charged for it because I feel like don't you just wash it and then give it to the next customer? But I don't know. So yeah, wine was six euros, spaghetti was 16, and then it's charged 250 for the napkin. Um, here, I think everything is also upcharged because of the location. I mean, it's really nice and yeah the rest of Naples from what I saw from the taxi was not so good so but yeah right now I'm just gonna take a shower and start getting ready for um hanging out at the 
on the rocks uh, that we saw earlier. Hey guys, so it's almost, well, it's past five o'clock now, so the sun should be a lot less shiny, <laughs> bright, less um, hot outside. So I just like threw this on. I think I saw a lot of like tourists wear similar style dresses. I have a bikini under in case I want to swim. And yeah, let's go see some views. But before that, I'm going to tell the hotel staff about the dirty um, riddle situation, kettle situation. I'm pretty shocked. Like, this is dusty and disgusting. Like, I wanted to boil some water for tea, but yeah, that is gross. I'm going to have to say something because, like, how do you clean a room? without cleaning the equipment and hopefully they'll fix it okie dokie let's go to the beach guess this is where you go down To the rocks. I guess this is where we're going. It's a dead stop, So many people. There's like a mini beach here. Oh. Made it on this rock here. Pretty difficult to get to actually. So nice. Okay, so the sun is setting soon, and as much as I would love to go for a swim, I definitely need to bring this camera back before doing something like that. But yeah, I was like, oh no, there's a spider. But yeah, I was bothered by this Albanian guy. He kept like trying to use Google Translate to talk to me, even though. I thought I made it pretty clear that I didn't want to talk to him, but honestly, like guys like that literally just like need you to be as mean as possible for them to go away. Because I was like, oh, I'd rather be left alone right now. And then he's like, oh, so um, I should leave so you can remove the obstacle or whatever. And that's how the Google Translate translated it. It was just so weird. It's like. No, I'm not referring to you as an obstacle. You're referring to yourself as that. And like, just please leave me alone. I just want to enjoy my vacation, my holiday here by myself with no one else. And he kept like asking me if I had a boyfriend, or if I was married, and I said that I was engaged. And then like later on, he was like, oh, the only reason that I wanted to be friends is because I'm engaged too. Like, I don't believe that for a second because, like, why wouldn't you tell me that in the first place? And why would you even come talk to me, you know, like, if you are engaged? I don't know. It's so weird. And he tried to, like, ride bikes with me, um, but I was just, like, not about that. I'm so tired and I don't want to, honestly, like, leave this area of Naples. Everywhere else seems really dangerous. But yeah, it's so beautiful. I don't want to leave. The sun is so golden right now. Look at how it gets to see. It's beautiful. Just real quick, look how cool this is. How shells are embedded in the rocks. And yeah, it's kind of difficult to get around on these rocks. Like, you know, where do I step right now? I have to like calculate this before I make my next move. So I won't be seeing any more of this. Down here is piles of trash, which is really sad. How can you ruin such a wonderful beach like that? I showed you guys earlier, but this is the like, small black sand beach area. I'm gonna feel out the water. It's really my first time at a black sand beach. Does the water feel nice? I mean, yeah, it feels pretty nice. But it is pretty dirty, so I don't really know if I want to swim in it. Yeah, it looks nice from up there. But, you know, the the so I came back from the beach to rinse off my feet or the beach but 
Um, yeah, that was such a weird experience because when I first got there, the rocks were really difficult to climb. And by the time I finally like was able to find a rock to just chill on, I saw some people leaving and they had a really nice rock like facing the sun. So it's really nice to lay there and tan. And this guy, or like this group of guys, the, guy, the ones that were leaving, was like trying to speak to me, but they also didn't speak English. And then like one guy kept calling his friend that kept like trying to speak to me crazy. And then that guy, I mean jokingly, but that guy like tried to get pictures of like, he asked me if I wanted pictures. So I was like, okay, sure. Like I did want pictures anyway. So he took some pictures of me with my phone and then he wanted pictures with me so he asked his friend to take pictures of us like i was just sitting on the rock like and then he was like sitting in front of me like i felt like i was like some celebrity or something i don't know i did not expect that to happen but he was like oh wow like um american model and then like i didn't even say i was a model but i guess they thought that i looked like one and then they like um, took pictures of me just like by myself too, just like sitting there on the rock or that guy he took pictures of me and wanted me to like look at his camera and smile yeah that was interesting I've never had an experience like that before I guess that's how celebrities feel but like all the time yeah weird did not expect this to happen in Italy but anyways I should probably go out now like maybe the sky is pink I hope so but um if anything I just need to like get some pizza for dinner or I don't know I'm, I'm still pretty full I kind of just want some like sorbet and cappuccino to be honest like I don't feel like eating that much so maybe just a little bit of dessert a snack will be nice. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. I just like changed into whatever. I didn't really want to like draw any attention. Just want to chill. So, yeah. Hopefully this is okay. I didn't take off my bikini um, because, I don't know, in case I do end up wanting to swim, which I doubt will happen, but eh, just in case. Right. Okay, let's go get some soiree and coffee. But decaf. Nice. We came just in time for the beautiful sunset when it in the sky is really pink. <laughs> Cute. Quite a lot of people tonight too on a Sunday night. I saw like the vanilla cafe over here, so maybe I'll go and try that. See it. Really bright sign. Yeah, it's over there. They have coffee, but the best bet is probably just to go to a restaurant near where I live. People selling shiny balloons and stuff. Yeah, I love this view. Honestly, like not that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll wait until later. Just like, sit down somewhere for a cup of coffee would be nice. Hopefully it's not too expensive because I've been kind of breaking the bank account lately. This view is absolutely breathtaking. I can't get over this. Starting off with some decaf cappuccino with some cookies. And then I also ordered lemon sorbet, which I have no idea how, any of, how much any of these cost because I can see it in the menu. But yeah, let's enjoy it. Nice view, and there's not a lot of people here. Unfortunately, it smells like alcohol and smoke. So, but after this, I'll probably just go back to the hotel and call it a night. Unless I feel hungry and want to get a pizza, and that will be another story. This coffee's so good. I'm almost done with the cookies, too. I guess I am a little hungry, and I got my lemon sorbet here. That was so good. The cappuccino, especially. Oh my gosh. So, now it's a lot. Um, darker but yeah that was nice it the total was 
9 euros for the sorbet and the cappuccino which like yeah that's a little expensive I guess but it was also definitely worth it because <laughs> people like playing music here <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, very lively name. I have no idea what they're saying or even if they are talking to me. But anyways, when I went to pay, um, someone like thought I was from a TV show. Do I look like somebody from a TV show? I don't know. You tell me. For the rest of the night, I just want to chill and yeah, take a shower, go to sleep early, and figure out the plan for tomorrow. It reminds me of China. Like these little selling stands. Oh, also the um, one of the workers, the servers there at that little cafe was really nice. He was like, he saw me recording and he was like, oh my girlfriend really wants to start YouTube and I was like, oh she should. And like he told me that he was from Argentina and like she's from Argentina and he has a cousin in Miami. And like what a small world. He wants to go to school for um, international relations half in um, Europe and half in Miami. So yeah, that'd be cool if he does end up doing that. And he asked for my YouTube channel and he subscribed to it which is always fun when people ask me. So, here we are, back to the hotel now. Okay, so I'm back in the hotel now. I think my water is done boiling. They helped me with it. But yeah, this is interesting. I think this is like sugar, but like what? I guess, oh, this is supposed to be Bob Marley, maybe? I don't know. And then there's another one of these. Like, with a different guy that, like, I'm supposed to be Native American. <laughs> I don't know if these have, like, if these are sugar or sugar substitutes, but these seem like they're probably sugar because they're, like, a lot heavier with a lot more substance in it. But yeah, I'm just gonna make a chamomile tea right now. To be honest, my cup was a little bit dusty too, but. I'm just going to let it go. Oh, it's from Ikea, by the way. That's funny. So, yeah. Have some tea, um, take a shower, and I'll probably see you. Well, I'll most likely. I will. See you in the morning.